Let's step inside the exciting world of John Javier Portillo, the bandito's most dreaded legend and ultimate mystery. He cast a palpable shadow across the history of crime, radiating menace and cunning beyond comparison. Get ready for an exciting adventure as you go further and deeper into his perilous dominion where peril lurks around every corner and your adrenaline soars at the prospect of the unknown. What terrible things happened to him that made him the most dreaded member of the Banditos? Let's check it out! Bandidos Outlaw Motorcycle Organization National Vice President John Javier Portillo, who is 59 years old, was ordered by a federal judge to two straight life terms and 20 years in federal jail for racketeering and drug dealing. United States Attorney John F. Bash, Western District of Texas, Drug Enforcement Administration DEA Special Agent in Charge Will Gaspi, Houston Division, Federal Bureau of Investigation FBI Special Agent in Charge Christopher Combs, San Antonio Division, Texas Department of Public Safety Director Stephen McCraw, Austin Police Chief Brian Manley, San Antonio Police Chief William McManus, and Alacosta County Sheriff David A. Soward made the announcement today. In addition to the jail sentences, senior U.S. District Judge David A. Ezra ordered that Portillo give the government his motorbike, three guns, and $17,827.20 that were found during a search of his home in 2016. What dark truths lurked under the intimidating mask of John Javier Portillo? This case shows that the Department of Justice has the tools to peel away a layer of legal action to find and punish illegal behavior underneath. On May 17, 2018, after a nearly three-month trial, a jury convicted Portillo and National Banditos President Jeffrey Fay Pike, age 63, of Count 1 Conspiracy to Violate the Racketeering Influence Corruption Organization Statute, Count 3 Murder in Aid of Racketeering, Count 4 Conspiracy to Commit Murder in Aid of Racketeering, Count 5 One Count of Conspiracy to Commit Assault with a Dangerous Weapon in Aid. Portillo was also found guilty of count two murder in aid of racketeering, count eight firing a gun during a violent crime, count ten conspiracy to possess with the intent to distribute more than 500 grams of methamphetamine and cocaine, count eleven possession with the intent to distribute cocaine, and count thirteen being a felon in possession of a gun. Jurors found Pike and Portillo guilty of conspiring to run a criminal organization through racketeering acts like telling, authorizing, approving, and letting members of the Banditos kill, try to kill, rob, attack, intimidate, extort, and sell drugs. During the hearing, evidence showed that Pike and Portillo told other Bandito members to kill Anthony Benesh in 2006. Benesh was trying to start a chapter of the Hells Angels in Texas in Austin at the time. Members of the Banditos told Banesh to stop what he was doing and stop recruiting, but Banesh did not listen. Then, on March 18, 2006, several Bandito members killed Banesh outside of an Austin restaurant to protect the business's power, image, and area. Jurors also decided that Portillo and others killed Robert Lara in Anacosta County in January 2002 as payback for the death of Javier Negrete who was a member of the Banditos. Negrete was killed outside a San Antonio bar in October 2001. At the time, he was a member of the same Banditos group as Portillo. Jurors also decided that Pike, Portillo, and others plotted to kill and hurt members of the Cossack Outlaw Motorcycle Organization and people who were close to them. Testimony showed that Portillo said the Banditos and Cossacks were at war with each other, with Pike's agreement. As part of this war, the Banditos did a number of dangerous things around Texas, such as in Fort Worth, Gordon, Odessa, Port Arnassus, Crystal City, and other places. Testimony also showed that Portillo and other members of the Banditos were trafficking methamphetamine and cocaine. They also had an agreement with the Texas Mexican Mafia that said Banditos members didn't have to pay the 10% dime to the Texas Mexican Mafia in exchange for permission to traffic drugs. Bandito's National Vice President Javier Portillo's sentencing is one more step towards the end of a thorough investigation by the DEA, FBI, and our law enforcement partners into the Bandito's outlaw motorcycle gang's leadership structure and illegal activities, said Will Glasby, special agent in charge of the Drug Enforcement Administration's Houston Division. This investigation shows how much law enforcement wants to make sure communities across Texas are safe and stop gang members who sell drugs and do other illegal things from setting up shop in our neighborhoods. 
Christopher Combs, the FBI's special agent in charge, said, Today's sentence is a result of the FBI's and all of our law enforcement partners' great work together. This attempt shows how serious we are about keeping our neighborhoods safe from gang bloodshed and illegal behavior. It also makes it clear that we won't stop looking for and prosecuting the leaders and members of these dangerous criminal organizations. Gang violence is a threat to the safety and security of Texas communities, DPS Director Stephen McCraw said. These are hard cases, but thanks to the hard work of law enforcement and prosecutors working together, these criminals can't hurt our communities anymore. As the dust settles on the tumultuous story of John Javier Portillo, his memory lives on as a chilling warning of how far people will go to gain power and fear. His time as the most feared Bandito's member is written into the books of crime history as a lesson. What are your views on him? Do share your opinions in the comments below.